Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is Mod Wednesday. Well, today is really not going to be a mod. I'm going to do a little bit something a little bit different today. Uh, here, uh, about a week or two ago, the new uh, content was released for Space Engineers. Keen Software House has released the Automaton, Autom Automaton's Pack. Uh, it was it's uh, five dollars four ninety nine five dollars in the store, and I downloaded it and have been playing around with it a little bit. Uh, pretty interesting pack. I think it's going to give you a lot more options. Uh, it's mostly decorative pack. It's not uh, to give you any more advantage over another player or anything like that. But what it does do is gives you more tools to build with and to create your decorations or to automate things. Uh, so one of the things that they have is they have all of these different blocks that uh, have AI flight control, uh, AI recorder tasks, AI defensive combat, uh, basic tasks, uh, your emote controller. This one's kind of interesting. You can kind of set up and you have different emotes. You can, uh, they've, they've got a lot of uh, standard or set ones in there. And uh, here we go. Let me hop in here. So if you go into here, you have these different, uh, different textures that you can add in and you can uh, let's see where are they at uh, right so I could put uh, charts and I could add that to the selection and I've got it set to change every five seconds so this is just something basic there's a lot more that you can do with this so you can make it look like a billboard uh you know uh different things so let's see what uh, the there's the charts that's the new one that i just added so that's pretty interesting if you want something to stick up into along with your builds the other thing that they've added was a lot of sign signage so you have the ability to put up uh, signs like this so if you're playing in multiplayer uh, this uh, you could put stuff up like this uh, or just in your regular base builds you know you you're, you're playing on uh, uh, the moon you've got your ship and you uh, have a section that is not airtight so you can put up a warning sign letting people know that it is uh, no atmosphere beyond that point uh, construction site I'll probably use some of these certainly as I'm doing my builds. So you've got uh, all these different signs that you can see. You also got access panels. Now, so if you open this up, you've got a control access panel behind it, which is kind of cool looking. Instead of just having these uh, control uh, panels uh, like this little display control panel set up all over the place, you can have it look a little more industrial-like. Uh, same with this one here, although I haven't figured out. I think it just, uh, let me do this. I don't remember. No, okay. So that's all one block there. Uh, there's really nothing behind it. Uh, here you have a button panel, so you can set up a button and uh, you'd open up the panel to uh, click the button and this one I haven't quite figured this one out yet so it's almost like it's a window now maybe you have something built behind it uh, that you want to access and so you can open that up I just have a block there uh, I'm not sure if these can be attached to a, uh, something else 
uh, or like a refinery or something like that if, if you want to uh, put uh, build in around the refinery. It's got uh, air blocks, so air vents. So it's got uh, uh, a full air vent block like you see here and it actually has uh, connections so you can hook it into your conveyor system. Uh, if you wanted to reduce that you could have uh, like you could put this block here right over here well, let's, and then uh, build your conveyor system right on out through there. And it's also got the half block conveyor system. It's got a camera that comes with the DLC pack. Uh, and so I haven't been able to, to really kind of utilize this too well. But it works just like the other cameras. Although it's not really centered looking out the camera. Matter of fact, let's just go do that real quick because I've got it set up over here. All right, we hop in here. If we hit three, you can see that we're looking around here. Oh, it's uh, working better now. They must have, they must have did a fix on it because before it was off-centered. So they, they did a fix on that. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I like the way the camera works. All right, let's hop back out of here. There we go. Okay. So, uh, some other things. You've got all these AI blocks. And again, uh, these AI blocks come in small as well. Then you've got uh, some angled interior walls. So you've got this one right here that has a couple of panels on the edge. You've got an open one, uh, an angled interior wall A. And then you've got an insert light, light four. So uh, I did just a little bit of a build just so you can kind of get a feel for how it looks. So there's what the insert lights in. I just took an angle block and I put it in like that and then I rotated it and then did the build. So you've got like an interesting angle hallway. Uh, I threw a vent up there and then uh, I put a couple of graded catwalks over the front of these. So just kind of give you an idea of what you can do to, for the build. It also has uh, two new pipe uh, works. They call it the Pipe Works A. And Here's the pipe works B. So one's a, one's more open and one's more closed in, as you can see from the backside. It also, where did I put them? It comes with two new uh, buggy type uh, cockpits. Uh, the, here you can uh, build sort of like a motorcycle, I guess. Or you can call uh, like a speeder, like in Star Wars. So if you hop on here, you can kind of see what you have here. You can kind of look around. So you can almost make like a speeder type uh, uh, vehicle. And there's two types of these. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then you have uh, a programmable block. You got a block that looks more like a server panel uh, I've put two of them up here so you can kind of see you've got a uh, kind of a corner type server tube so I put two of them in here one facing this way and one facing this way so it looks pretty interesting it'll make your server rooms look a lot better and then it's got uh, uh, a timer block so the automate and timer block is here. And all of these, a lot of these all work on the same principle uh, as the old blocks. It just kind of gives you some new designs on them. Uh, and then you've got a new uh, sensor block, which looks a lot better, I think, than the other sensor. And it does the same thing. If you go in here, you uh, can configure it the same way. It's got your... Uh, different uh, 
front, back, top uh, zones that you can uh, increase or decrease. And then it's got the audible proximity alert. So if uh, uh, something you've got set up to trigger something, it will tell you. So yeah, so that all works about the same as the regular uh, sensors. Uh, let's see, what am I missing? I think I'm missing something. Now, I haven't done anything with any of these blocks here, so I can't really tell you much about them. Uh, but you do have these different options down through here of setting up uh, so that you can, for your ships or your drones that you create, uh, you can tell it to flee to a different base. Like these are different places that I have set up here on this particular uh, uh, load that I use. And you can tell it uh, how to uh, flee, how far away to flee. Uh, you can tell it to defend against enemies. You know, so you, it gives you a lot of options in using your builds. Uh, I think that is about it. Uh, I know it's a little longer mod Wednesday than normal, but I thought uh, you guys might be interested in the different blocks that are available in the new content for Space Engineers. So again, this is uh, the Automaton uh, Automaton, if I'm saying that correctly, uh, DLC pack. Uh, it was just released a couple of weeks ago. It's uh, basically five bucks, uh, $4.99, and I don't and I don't mind uh, uh, purchasing these because it helps Keen continue to support the game, and it helps the uh, modding community out there considerably. So, all right. Well, uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low and don't get shot. Keep building away. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.